Democratic Republic of Congo. Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, is a country located deep in the center of the African continent in the tropical zone. The equator passes through the northern DRC. It was ruled by Belgium till it became independent in 1960. This country was earlier called Belgian Congo. The name was changed to Zaire in 1971. Once again, in 1997, its name was changed to the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is its present name. Its capital is Kinshasa. The landscape of the country is dominated by the Congo River, the second longest river in Africa and the seventh longest in the world. The Congo Basin covers the equator. The climate in most parts of DRC is very hot throughout the year. The evaporation of water due to the high temperature during the day makes the humidity very high. This causes the clouds to build up by afternoon and rain comes down at about 4 p.m. This happens almost every day throughout the year, making the region one of the wettest in the world. In some parts of DRC, especially in the south, it does not rain so much. While the summer is hot and wet, the winter is cool and dry. Hot and humid climates are excellent for the growth of plants. Therefore, such areas are covered with dense forests called tropical rainforests. They are evergreen forests. Most of DRC is covered with tropical rainforests. There are a large variety of trees and other plants. The tall trees form a canopy of leaves at the top, preventing sunlight from passing through. Creepers, Climbers and shrubs grow below. However, at several places, the canopy is so thick that very few plants can grow under it. In some parts of DRC, mostly in the south, where the climate is not so hot and wet, the vegetation is different. Instead of dense forests, there are grasslands with short trees. Such vegetation is called a savanna. A large variety of wildlife is found in the forests and savannas of DRC. Elephants, buffaloes, gorillas, chimpanzees, baboons, hippopotamuses, and rhinoceroses are some mammals found in the forests. Lions, leopards, giraffes, zebras, as well as wolves roam the savannas. Crocodiles are found in plenty in the rivers. There are many types of birds and insects in the forests. Among the insects is the dangerous setse fly, which causes sleeping sickness. DRC has rich natural resources. There are vast mineral deposits in southern DRC, especially of copper, cobalt, gold, uranium, and diamonds. Most of the minerals are exported. With about 48% of the land covered with forests, DRC 
as one of the best forest resources in Africa. Farming is done in large areas from where forests have been cleared. The major food crops are cassava, maize, and rice. Coffee, cocoa, rubber, and cotton are also grown, and most of these are exported. Water is another important natural resource. Dams built on the river produce electricity. Rail and road connect cities with each other, but land transport is not so well developed. Water transport over River Congo and other rivers is the major means of transport. DRC is thinly populated. Most people live in villages and highlands in the east and along the rivers. Only about 30% people live in cities. Modern facilities are available in cities. The rich city dwellers live in houses and apartments and drive cars. But the poor live in crowded unhealthy conditions in slums. Villagers live in thatched huts in separate tribes or groups, each having their own customs. There are about 200 tribes in DRC. The most well-known inhabitants of DRC and some other countries in Africa are pygmies. Long ago, pygmies probably lived throughout DRC and other parts of Central Africa. But now, they are fewer in number and live in certain parts of the forests. Pygmies are short in height. They get their food by hunting animals and gathering plant foods. Pygmies live in camps, which they occupy for only a few weeks. Then they move to a new place. They make huts out of branches and leaves. Since the weather is very hot, the tribal people do not wear many clothes. But on special occasions, they wear colorful costumes. They enjoy singing, dancing, and telling stories.